Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to blow things up in the reflection of some sunglasses. Well, actually not these sunglasses. Also make sure to stay until the end for a little bonus tip. And full disclosure, this tutorial is inspired by the one film right did. It's linked up here. And one more thing before we start. This shot is from my post-apocalyptic short film Virus. If you haven't watched it, go click up here. It's pretty cool. I made it during quarantine. Watch it. Let's start. First we load our clip into After Effects. Sorry that it is still in German. It's back from the time when my channel was in German. I made a screen recording in German. Now it's all set to English. Following tutorials are with After Effects in English, so calm down. I'm gonna tell you what to click in English. Then we trim our working area, working space to our desired needs so that the clip is only as long as we want it to be. Next we don't use the normal After Effects tracker, don't get me wrong, it's great, but we're gonna use Mocha for this one because we need the distortion in the sunglasses as well. In Mocha we skip to the section of the video where we need the track and pick the pen tool. Now we select the area we want to track, don't forget to close the mask at the starting point like I did. Otherwise, it won't work. Then we track the mask right here. First, we track the clip forwards, then backwards. It will say that one or more layers were not tracked properly, but this is okay. The track will stop eventually when I put the glasses back on, but we will keyframe that with our hands all manually later. Now we can close the mocha window and open the drop down menu on the side in the effects section. Then we can quickly drop our new clip in. I got mine from the bonus folder in the fire assets pack from Filmrite. You don't have to use it. I can recommend it. I get not paid to say this. Please pay me to say this, I want a sponsorship. I don't have one though. Use the asset you want. Maybe I should do a pack. Maybe you should buy my pack. If by the time this video drops, I have a pack, it's linked down in the description. I should make a fire pack. I could render red. Anyways, next we pre-compose our new clip, go to our mocha settings on the side where we create track data, set the export option from corner pin to corner pin support motion blur, and the layer export to our new clip and then apply the export. Then we open up the pre-composed new layer in a second window so we can transform it without interfering with the keyframes of the track. Once the nuke is in place, preferably we place it behind an object like for example a house or a tree to hide the bottom of the explosion in the glasses. We select the mask tool and cut around whatever we use to hide the bottom of the explosion. Make sure that the explosion in your pre-composed layer isn't actually going outside your window, otherwise it will cut off at the top in your main composition. Once the nuke is placed in the correct position in the pre-comp, we can further adjust it in our main layer. Once again, we don't want to change the keyframes though, which is why we create another null object and parent the pre comp nuke layer to the new null object. Now we can use the null object to adjust the position in the main layer and go back and forth in between the pre and the main comp to really get that explosion to our desired position. Take your time guys. By the way, I set the feathering of the mask to 5 pixels. Oh and also don't forget to turn on motion blur and I also put a little bit of a Gaussian blur on the nuke to make it blend in better with the rest of the image. Image. This is a real pro tip. Oh, and also I did some color correction. When the nuke finally is in the final correct position, we need to hand animate the start of putting on the glasses backwards because Mocha couldn't track it all the way when the reflection in the glasses wasn't shown anymore. It's okay if this is a bit rough because it's just a few frames anyway and no one will be able to catch some small mistakes and the motion blur will hide some of the mistakes as well. This will result in the nuke leaving the frame of the glasses, which is why we duplicate the original clip one time by clicking Ctrl or Command D or Ctrl C, Ctrl V and put it on top of the nuke layer. Then we create a new mask around the frame of the sunglasses and also hand animate it until I put the glasses on in the clip. Looking good. At the end I just did some more color correction on the nuke itself, exported it lossless out of After Effects and threw it into Final Cut where I applied my LUT for the final short film which makes everything desaturated except for the red, bright, orangey things and done. I also tried how it would look with an extra lens flare, but no, no. Okay, so as a very quick bonus tip, I'll show you the second effect, which is without the reflection, but with an over shoulder shot. And this one's so easy, I did it directly in Final Cut without After Effects. So we load our clip in, trim it to our needs, then I put an adjustment layer on top of it, then we load the nuke in, trim it as well, position it where we want it to be positioned, then we duplicate the original layer again, make a mask like in the glasses, but this time without tracking, readjust the explosion and then we blur the f*** out of it with Gaussian blur. I, I mean, we, we blur it real hard. 
Then we adjust the exposure, put the LUT above all layers and adjust the exposure and the saturation again and we're done. And that's it from this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did and consider subscribing if you haven't already, go watch the short film Virus of course and here you can click for more tutorials from this short film inside of After Effects. That's it for me, see you next time. my light. That's my hair light. Production value.